stand by for that as well. Uh, Dave, and tell me about our guest here, because these are some folks that you will have uh, up to the booth on Saturday. Special Spectators is uh, a group which it's an organization which basically puts together special days for kids who have dealt with very serious illnesses. And they do it at college football games. So it's a different kind of venue. And uh, they, they roll out the red carpet for these kids and they, they have a great time. Blake Rockwell joins us. Blake, where's the idea come from? Good morning. Hey. Uh, it came it came from when I volunteered at Children's Memorial Hospital, obviously now Lurie Children's Hospital in Chicago, and I uh, met all these remarkable kids and families, and to my surprise, many of them were huge sports fans, but very few of them had ever been to any type of game, and I just thought that that was, that was pretty crazy and that we could really give them a wonderful day by having them, hosting them at uh, college football games and just giving them the VIP treatment including uh, you know, tailgate parties, and we put on a G-rated tailgate party for these kids. Which is good. Ennett, not what Ennett did when he was an undergrad. But, totally. Uh, okay. That was uh, unnecessary, but go ahead. <laughs> but uh, And meet coaches and players. We'll get them in the locker room uh, on the field for a big stadium announcement where all the fans can welcome the kids to the stadium. And then, uh, you know, in, with our event this Saturday at Northwestern, Dave, so oh, it's been generous to uh, bring the kids up and talk a little bit about what he de- he does and show them uh, the great uh, perspective that he has high atop Ryan Field. Right, kind of cool, right? Kids get to throw the headphones on, sit in the big chair. Absolutely, and uh, you know, just learn about uh, what Dave does, and he goes through his his day and talks a little bit about the game, and the kids love it. They get to look out onto Lake Michigan and see downtown Chicago. It's a uh, it's a really neat part of our our event at Northwestern. Blake, for, forgive me if I'm maybe inventing this story, but didn't you tell me there was a nine eleven tie in to how this all started for you? There was, yeah, definitely. I've so I've lived in Chicago and New York uh, both after school, and um, was living in New York during nine eleven and working for a firm, uh, uh, investment management firm, and had a couple of. Um, of colleagues who who were killed in the 9/11 attacks, and um, also shortly after 9/11, I had a good friend in Chicago who who died from lung cancer, a young woman in her 30s, non-smoker, and that uh, coupled with the 9/11 attacks, I was just kind of looking at what I was doing with my life and. Uh, remembered this idea back from when I had volunteered at Children's Memorial in the mid '90s, and I thought, you know, let's let's go after that. That's that's something I really need in my life right now. Nice way to pay something it forward. I really like to do. Nice yeah. way to pay it forward. Now the kids you said come from Lurie and uh, other places. Uh, you know, if, yep. if parents want to know more about the program, what, how do they get a hold of you? Or was it an email or a website? Where do you send them? Well, we really, um, once we get a, a confirmation from the universities that we work with and they provide us a tic- the tickets and, and they tell us which game that they're providing tickets for, we'll then go to a com- uh, children's hospital in that community. So oh, okay. for our event at Northwestern, we work with the good folks at Lurie and also at Advocate uh, Children's Hospital up in Park Ridge. But is there any, you know, people hear stuff like this, they go, what a great idea. Is there any yeah. way the public can help? Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Um, they can log on to our website, which real simply is specialspectators.org. And uh, they can also help tomorrow night. We're having a little happy hour fundraiser at uh, the Glens Tavern at 1202 North Wells. And uh, this is just an opportunity to learn more about our organization, make a donation. People can make a donation online if they're unable to make it. But we're going to be at the Glens Tavern from 530 to 730. And uh, people can make a donation there. They can learn more about the organization. And uh, they can also buy a raffle ticket as we're raffling off a uh, Northwestern football autographed by Coach Fitz, who obviously has been a huge supporter of our organization. And uh, after after each game coach Fitz uh has the kids uh you know meets the kids outside the locker room signs autographs takes pictures and as well as the wildcats come out from the locker room and sign autographs for the kids and take pictures with them so it's a it's a full day it's a great day and uh, we just thank the northwestern athletic department for everything that they do and helping us make it a very memorable day for these families who are obviously going through quite a bit well that sounds great last word dave you'll do how many of these this year blake 
We're going to do 45 events across wow. the country. Wow. And uh, we're, by the way, we're a completely volunteer-based organization. We have no paid staff. We're all just a bunch of sports fans who love doing this for families across the country. And we've already done events at Boston College, Cal, uh, Maryland, North Carolina. This Saturday, obviously, we're going to be at Northwestern, but we'll also be at Wake Forest, West Virginia, and um, and uh, where else? I'm I'm forgetting right offhand. Doesn't matter. You don't have to name all 48. It's just fantastic. <laughs> uh, but so, anyway, great work. Give us the website one more time. Yeah, it's specialspectators.org. Oh, and we're going to be at Penn State, so that's that's the fourth one on Saturday. Well, fantastic. Great work by you, and uh, hold the line for us, Blake Rockwell. He's a good guy, man. What's he doing hanging out with you? I don't know. He was misguided, I guess. I'll tell you what.